Hello there, okay, so I have my Corad power supply. I took the cover off um, to check things out inside, and I have to say, you know, it looks pretty good. Uh, ignore that this is a bit loose, uh, that's my fault, I took the screws out. But anyways, um, I won't go into this too much, I mean, you can see these, uh, the reviews of these online. But uh, here at the front is the big chunky power supply which actually shuts the the main power on and off to the filter, oh no, actually to this thing, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the voltage selector switch, so IEC to the main power switch and it comes back, voltage selector switch, which obviously just you know connects to the different uh, windings on the primary side. Output uh, goes into the board with the power transistors. Um, there's a heat sink. Uh, the transistors are attached to this. There's a little bit of hot snot floating around here. Uh, this is the fan. Got some filter cap back there. And on the front, um, the current shunt. This is for measuring current on the dis front display. You know, microcontroller, lots of resistors. There's the beeper there. Um, all in all, you know, decent design. Um, What's not so great, let's see here, okay. So there's a, this like thing here, I'm to be honest, all I can think of is it's like something to do with to guide the air maybe. And um, these are the output wires here that come from the secondary windings. Well, they were, the, the case sort of pushes it up against this. So there's a little bit of a notch uh, pushed into the wire. So that's not so great. I'm going to tie these up and move them away there and kind of tuck them under. This isn't exactly, it, it's it's a little bit sharp. It's not terrible, but I don't even know what it does. I mean, it obviously strengthens these top bars a little bit. But um, anyways, okay, other side, uh, you know, it's pretty good. You know, the wires are sort of, there's, there's, there's uh, glue on the connectors here. This is the board that does the serial and the USB. I don't know why there's some giant capacitors on it. I'm sorry, it's a bit hard to see due to the light. But um, anyways, this power supply that goes to there, it's isolated, probably five volts or something like that. And then these are probably the serial lines. That's, you know, there's a there's a zip tie here and here, but it'd be nice if they tied these down a little bit more. So I'll, I'll fix that up. But anyways, the reason why I open this is because the fan is a little bit noisy. And I'm gonna take this uh, board out here and just take a look at the fan. If it's a five or 12 volt fan, then I'm going to replace it with this Panasonic Panaflow. These are so much quieter. It's the same size, obviously. Whatever's in there is pretty noisy. It is speed controlled, but this fan, even at full speed, is quieter than this thing at the low speed. So well, we're gonna see how this goes. So I'm gonna take this apart some more. All right, here we are. I've taken it apart a little bit more. So this is the output board. Um, you can see down in here the transistors up against uh, this heat sink here. Output cap, a Rubicon. Wow. 63 volts, uh, 6,800 microfarads. Interesting. I mean, it looks a little beat up. Um, yeah, the casing, I mean, the, the wrapping's a little funky. Anyways, 105 degrees C, no, and uh, you know, lots of this um, silicone glue here to kind of hold it in place since it's large. You know, there's the odd squirt on the connectors, very haphazard. Um, there's some space for additional filtering, but I'm assuming this is probably a similar board for the other higher voltage. Um, power supplies. This is the 31 volt one. There's a 60 with some other higher output current handling versions. So perhaps it puts three smaller caps, higher voltage, I don't know, um, with some other components here. Uh, flapping around the breeze, as Dave would say. Some things uh, that are a little funky. So this, trans the, this um, resistor here, it was sort of smashed and twisted. So I, I straightened it out. It was actually kind of flat against the boards. I straightened it out so it had a little bit of airflow around it. And there's um, these three as well. They were just a little bit close to each other, so I just uh, sort of straightened them out so they weren't touching. 
better for the heat. Anyways, um, okay, so this is the fan that was in there. Uh, and yes, it is this a typical 12 volt brushless fan? Uh, it's odd that there's a bunch of uh, white specks, if you could see that on the on the camera. Basically, it seems to be heat sink compound, sort of sprayed all over it. Don't know how that happened. Look, there's even a, a white mark of it there. So anyways, um, yeah, I guess when they, when they put this together, this got sprayed. It has a standard little connector on it, so I'm gonna change this over to definitely this uh, Panaflow fan here. Same size, I just need to basically attach this wire to that so I can put this in place of this noisy cheap fan. What brand is this? It's a Jian Shan Feng, Feng. 12 volts, 0.14 amps. And this is also 12 volt DC fan made by Panasonic or Panaflow, which I think is a Panasonic. Yeah, Matsushita Electric. You can see this is dusty. So I've had this uh, Panasonic fan in use in other things. And I, I don't know what it was. It may be a computer and I salvaged the fan back out. I have a few of these. So I'm going to find the cleanest one. Maybe it just means it has the least amount of hours on it and uh, put it into this thing and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay, here we go. There's the Panasonic fan. Uh, connected to the board, goes right in no problem. I uh, soldered it in, put some heat shrink on, and I am just gonna reposition this and put it all back together. I already test ran it and it's nice and quiet, so I'm gonna put it back together and we'll see how it is. Okay, here's the, here's the power supply. The Panasonic Panaflow fan is installed. I don't think my camera is really good enough to you know, tell the difference between quiet and noisy, but I have to say, there's quite a difference. So uh, let's turn on the output. So I have um, I have a resistor connected here. So I'm going to turn on the output, which will spin up the fan. So here you go. Listen. Okay, so it's a little bit noisier. But it's still, uh, well, I don't know. I'd say this is quieter. Maybe I should have been a little more scientific with the sound meter. Currently putting about 1.5 amps at 12 volts into this, um, to this resistor. Well, how much is this good for? 50 watts. Okay, so no problem. Ooh, it's pretty hot. Uh, okay, let's put the lid on and just see what that sounds like when it's closed up. Well, I put the thing back together <laughs> using the Panaflow fan. Here's the one that it was originally in it. And I have to say, I don't think it's any quieter. If it is, it's barely quieter. <sighs> the odd thing is, if you run the Panaflow fan, Oops, like here's the one on its own outside of any enclosure at 12 volts. It's pretty quiet. Um, I think the problem is the airflow design of this is not very good. It has sort of the heat sink flush up against the fan. There's a gap, but it's pretty small, uh, you know, on, between the fan and the heat sink. So there's a flat surface and the fan. And if you know anything about fans, when you do something like that, it creates a low pressure zone because the way it's designed um, in this unit the airflow is blowing out of the back of the unit so with the heat sink completely flat up against the fan you know minus a few millimeters the low pressure zone allows the fan to spin quite a bit faster than it normally would then you have the kind of cheap fan grill on the back which is just sort of slots cut into the metal case when you combine that, the fan spinning quickly and sort of a cheap grill, it just creates a lot of turbulence and you get a lot of air and a lot of noise. So you probably won't be able to hear it on here, but it's pretty noisy. I think the thing about this fan, the original fan that was in here, this one, was the fan was a little bit noisier just from a vibration standpoint. So as it was spinning around, you heard a bit more of a hum. I still hear a little bit of a hum 
Although it's hard to tell, that could just be the, the 60 hertz transformer hum that that's making. Anyway, so long story short, Corad power supplies are noisy. I'm glad I opened it up nonetheless. Uh, you know, I've sort of fixed the routing of some of those cables. So they're not pinched anymore, so that should help make this last a little bit longer. And sort of straighten out a few other resistors. But overall, still a good power supply. I'm happy I got it. It's a lot better than the old crappy uh, switching power supply. I don't know what I did with it that I used to have up there. I'll probably stick the switching power supply next to that so I'll have two power supplies where I'll use the switching one as a backup because that's a piece of crap that does over voltage sometimes. This one seems to work really well. I like how easy it is to control the output. It's it's overall pretty good. I've had it for a little while now. I've used it a little bit. It's it's great. I'm I'm pleased with it. For the price, what did I say that was? $60? I don't really remember anymore, but it was so cheap. I can't you can't really go wrong considering the inexpensive price if you don't worry about, you know, having you know, the highest end power supply with the cleanest output, but it's nice. It's an isolated, uh, linear regulated power supply. So there's a transformer and there's linear, tra there's transistors, so it regulates it, um, and it's isolated. So it's not the the negative is not the the chassis ground, you know, which is the AC ground. So that's nice. Sort of helps uh, some testing scenarios. But anyways. Oh, my attempt to quiet it down didn't quite work. What I might do one day to help is to actually dremel, remove the power board and dremel out the fan grill that's back there. Sort of the slots in the metal. Just take the entire thing out so the fan is completely just sitting on the back of the, the case. And then perhaps I'll add some more spacers between the power board and the fan to kind of give a little bit more of a gap. Although... You know that that allows for cooling because it's forcing the air right through, you know, through the fins, the, the edges of the heat sink. So I don't know. Anyways, if you're gonna try and quiet it down with a quieter fan, don't bother. <laughs> it's not gonna get much quieter. So perhaps if you add a resistor to lower the voltage, that could help. It's, you know, just spin the fan slower. Of course you could still overheat the board so that might not be great if you if you do drive this at the full output current i don't typically do that you know i'm just sort of working on electronics here not driving it at five amps at 31 volts but anyways maybe someone found this useful thanks for watching